Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Talia. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you didn't already know, OTs are a social bunch. So I thought today I would give you a head start when entering the online social media world of occupational therapy. About Twitter for OTs is that just by searching occupational therapy, let me know down below what your favorite social media platform is and why. Okay, let's start with Twitter. One thing I love about Twitter is just by searching occupational therapy, you're bound to find hundreds of OTs and OT students from around the world having conversations. I would check out the hashtags placement diaries where you'll see OT students talking about their day-to-day -day experience in their placements or clinical experiences, whether it's interactions with other health professionals or nice or different client moments that they have had or moments of self-reflection on what they've learned or what they need to improve on. Other hashtags to check out are hashtag OT and hashtag OT student. So next time you're on Twitter, see if you can tweet and include one of those hashtags. I would also recommend checking out your country's associated account, whether it's OT Australia or AOTA, American or America, American Occupational Therapy Association, or the Royal College of Occupational Therapists or the Royal Association. I recommend checking out your country's associated page. This is where you'll usually find they post about events such as professional development or they post really nice quotes or stories from clients or therapists as well as interesting resources to check out. Now on to Pinterest. If you're not on Pinterest, why not? On Pinterest you're going to find a range of things. Recipes, gardening, interior design, fashion, makeup, as well as an OT community. Whether you're looking for session ideas, creative activities, as well as just OT insight and inspiration, I would definitely check out Pinterest. You're going to find a treasure trove of OT resources and inspiration. Just again, by searching OT or occupational therapy and choosing people, you're going to be finding users that are occupational therapists or students, or you're going to be finding businesses or companies that are related to occupational therapy. I'm going to be showing you a few of my favorite occupational therapy pinners over the screen now. Is, is pinners the right word for people who use Pinterest? Like, is, is there a word for it? I don't know. I'm just going to keep saying pinners and let me know down below if I'm, I've totally lost it. Alright, so I would recommend checking out Seniors Flourish, POTS or POTS Occupational Therapy, as well as OT Toolkit. Now these different users are going to give you a range of different resources. Here you can find session resources, activity inspiration, infographics, such as information on autism and a range of other conditions, as well as boards specific to different specialties of OT, from pediatrics, including fine motor activities for kids, gross motor activities for kids, boards surrounding autism, all the way up to older adults and rehab occupational therapy. On to Facebook. So if you're an OT or an OTA and you don't already know, and also if you're a student, an OTA student, an OT student, so occupational therapy or occupational therapy assistant student, you are able to be a part of global communities on Facebook. There are general OT groups that you can join, as well as special interest groups that are very specific. So you can find general OT groups in your country or around the world, as well as specialist groups such as pediatrics, mental health, rehab, the list goes on. So if you have a special interest in different fields of OT or you have a placement or a prac coming up soon in different areas, think about joining these communities and going through the posts that have already been posted as well as if you have questions, see if it's appropriate for you to ask them there. These groups generally do require you to be able to prove that you're an occupational therapist or a student, so keep that in mind if you're thinking about applying to join the group. Additionally, your university may have its own Facebook group for current students and alumni. I know my university does and it's a great place to 
to network as well as post different textbooks or uniforms you're selling because you don't need them anymore as well as share and celebrate different successes of students past and present. All right, on to the gram, Instagram. Again, check out your country's associated accounts. OT Australia is at OTAUST and America and the UK. You probably all have your own associated accounts as well, so check them out. I'm gonna give you a few ideas for who to follow on Instagram when it comes to the OT community. First of all, at Shannon Marie underscore OT. If you're looking for inspiration and insight into what it's like to be an occupational therapist in America, I would definitely check out Shannon's page. I actually found Shannon through this next account, which is called Med Takeovers. The Med Takeovers page is usually a different health professional taking over the Instagram story for that day and answering common questions and letting you know what their typical day looks like. So they've had different specialties within medicine as well as speech pathologists and Shannon was an OT. So I follow that page to get an insight into all the different health professionals I may be working with in the future. If you're keen to be a paediatric OT or you have a paediatric placement coming up, consider following Can Do Kiddo. Rachel shares strategies, resources as well as some really sweet moments with her own kids. Also on Instagram, don't forget those OT hashtags. Alright, moving on to the platform you're most likely watching this video on. And if you've made it this far, thank you, thank you. <laughs> it has been a journey and it's almost coming to an end. Alright, so here on YouTube, let me know down below how long you've been using YouTube for. Because when I started to think about it, I think it's probably been 9 or 10 years that I've been watching and then soon after creating videos from when I was about 13 or 14, we started making videos with my friends. I was watching some of them the other day <laughs> and I was glad they were private. <laughs> Alright, so someone I look up to here on YouTube within the OT community is OT Miri. She has already built a massive resource for you here on YouTube with videos ranging from working with burns to pediatric assessments. I would highly recommend checking out OT Miri. And if you do, go and leave her a comment and say that I said hello. Alright guys, thank you so much for checking out this video and staying all the way to the end. If you have any other accounts you think me and everyone else should be checking out for the OT community, let me know down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.